أنا الدكتورة لقاء شلال فرحان تدريسية في بلوك طب الأسنان جامعة الأنبار راح أقدم راح أقدم اليوم محاضرات اللوكال أنستيزيا لمادة جراحة الفم المرحلة الثالثة فنبدي لوكال أنستيزيا Introduction, pre-dental operations and procedures such as extraction, major oral surgery, and open cavity preparation are both painful and prolonged. And nowadays, all these procedures are performed without pain by the using of local anesthesia. Definition Local anesthesia could be defined as loss of sensation in a circumscribed area of the body caused by a depression of excitation, a nerve ending, or inhibition of the conduction process in the peripheral nerves. Local anesthesia, as it is known, known today, began when a German chemist, Albert Niemann, uh, in 1860, successfully isolated the active principle of coca leaf. He named it cocaine. Later, more physicians began to do clinical trials on the uh, effect of uh, cocaine. In 1884, an ophthalmologist, Caracola, used the first lock anesthetic on a patient with glaucoma. In 1898, Professor Henry G. Brown introduced cocaine as the first derivative of cocaine, which is known as the first synthetic local anesthetic drug. In 1940, the, uh, the first modern local anesthetic agent was introduced and known as Nodocaine, trade name is Zalocaine. It, it developed as a derivative of Zaladine. It relieves pain during dental surgeries and set on quickly and reduces a, des a desire and a static effect for several hours. Discoveries continued until our days where local anesthesia is used widely in all dental treatments. Okay. Terminology. Pain, unpleasant physical sensation experience followed the application of nausea stimuli, although the supporting tissues of the, of the teeth can themselves give rise to pain. Most of the nerve endings in the prudental membrane are proprioceptive. Anesthesia means loss or, or abolition of all modalities of sensation which include pain and touch. Analgesia means loss of pain sensation only. Paresthesia means ultra sensation, tingling sensation, and this, uh, this may occur when, when, when a damaged nerve is regenerated or when a local anesthesia is either starting to work, to work or its effect is uh, wearing off. The effect of local anesthetics on nerve fiber has been shown to be dependent on number one, a duration of exposure of local anesthesia, two, concentration, three, volume of the solution. Relative analgesia is patient technique in which the patient remains conscious but, but, but mental relaxation is induced by inhalation of a mixture of nitric oxide, oxygen, and air. Local anesthesia used when it was necessary. Debularization. Debularization when a stimulus excites a nerve, a nerve, there will be an increase in permeability of the membrane to sodium ions. The rapid influx of sodium ion, uh, ions to the interior of the nerve will cause debilarization of the nerve membrane from a resting level to a spinal threshold. This is a mechanism of excitation of a nerve fiber from resting, resting potential, negative 70 millivolt, to the firing. Resting potential, there will be negative charge inside the nerve fiber, and outside uh, there will be a positive charge. When there will be excitation of nerve fiber, there will be effects of sodium ion positive uh, to the, the interior. And then it will be there will be change in the, in the uh, uh, ion, ion inside the nerve fiber. It will be uh, positive. Then it will be uh, outside there will be negative. When there will be excitation, regularization there will be uh, uh, any uh, positive ion. It will be outside and negative ion, uh, uh, and then the uh, the uh, the nerve fiber will be returned to the resting, uh, resting level, okay? Uses of local anesthesia. 
A. Diagnostic uses. Administration of local anesthesia can be a useful way of finding the source of patient's pain. An example of this is the pain of pulpitis, which can be very difficult for both the patient and the dentist to isolate because of its tendency to be referred to other parts of the mouth or face. So local anesthesia can distinguish between maxillary and mandibular sources and even between individual upper teeth provided they are not immediately adjacent. Another example is a patient with myofascial pain who is convinced that an upper teeth is causing the problem. Local anesthesia may help these patients are the same as the surgeon in this situation to eliminate the tooth of the cause of pain and may thus avoid its unnecessary treatment. Okay. B. Therapeutic uses. Local anesthesia can be can in themselves constitute part of the treatment for painful surgical conditions. For example, the use of blood technique to eliminate the pain of the dry subjects can be helpful to be a management of this very painful condition, particularly in the first few days. Block of the inferior dental nerve, mental nerve, or infraorbital nerve can be also be used for treatment of trigeminal neuralgia when when pain is uh, when pain breakthrough. Okay. See preoperative uses. The provision of pain-free operative surgery is by by far the most common uses of local anesthesia and provides effective and safe methods for almost all outpatient dental or surgical procedures. It can, in conjunction with sedation techniques, allow more difficult procedures to be carried out without the addition, additional risk of general anesthesia. And this is uh, particularly of value in patients with the significant cardiovascular or airway disease. Okay. Additionally, however, local anesthesia is often give, given to patients undergoing oral and maxillofacial surgery under general anesthesia. This serves the following purposes. Number one, it reduces the depth of general anesthesia needed. Two, it reduces the arrhythmia, which are noted on ECG during the surgery when significant stimulation is taking place. This can be seen, for example, when a patient is being elevated. Okay. Three, it also provides local hemostasis to the operative side and provides immediate post-operative analgesia. D, post-operative uses. After, after surgery with either local or general anesthesia, the continuing effect of, of the anesthesia is, is a most beneficial way of reducing patient discomfort. It helps to reduce or even eliminate the need for strong systemic analgesics. Then we come to the indications of local anesthesia. Local anesthesia is indicated in almost all the dental procedures. It is used to render the teeth as supportive tissue and structures insensitive to painful procedures. It is used in all surgery for extraction of teeth and fractured roots and for all other surgical procedures, as surgical removal of teeth, abyssectomy, incisions, and drainage of local abscess. Localized abscess, removal of cysts, ranula, and salivary calculi, and for all other surgical procedures. Local anesthesia is used for the conservative treatment as for cavity preparation, crown and bridge abutment preparation, pulp treatments as root canal filling, pulpotomy or bulbectomy. Local anesthesia is used for the surgical treatment of periodontal diseases, deep scaling and prophylaxis treatment, nuclear java surgical procedures. It's also used for sometimes caustic treatment and some of the orthodontic treatments. Okay. This, then we come to the contraindications to local anesthesia. This can be divided into two groups. Number one, absolute contraindications such as A, history of allergy to local anesthetic agents. Local anesthetic agents belonging to the same chemical group should not be used. However, local anesthetic agent in the different chemical group can be used. In case a patient gives a history of allergy to an amide local anesthetic agents, an ester local anesthetic agent can be used. B. Documented allergy to other constituents of local, local anesthetic solutions. Solution: When a patient has a history of allergy to any of the constituents of local anesthetic solution, 
solution containing the constituents should be avoided and alternate solution should be used if possible. Two relative contraindications are a fear and apprehension for the patient is where the patient is uncooperative or refused for local, for the local anesthesia, B, presence of an acute inflammation or suppressive infection at the site of insertion of a needle, where there will be an increased chances for the spread of infection with the passage of the needle from the abscess area to the deeper tissue. C, infant or small children, these patients need reasoning and understanding. D. Mental retarded patients, these patients are unable to cooperate. A. Patients with significant medical diseases, disease as cardiovascular disease, hepatic dysfunction, renal dysfunction, and clinical hyperthyroidism. F. Restricted mouth opening, when the patient cannot open his mouth sufficiently, in situations such as resmus, as it says, also in partial or complete ankylosis of temporal mandibular joint. H. Major surgical procedures. Okay. Then we come uh, to the advantages of local anesthesia. These are as follows. Number one, no special preparation of the patient is needed. Two, no complicated apparatus or bul bulky gas cylinders are needed. Three, there is no risk of respiratory obstruction. Four, anesthesia loss for at least an hour. Five, the patient remain a walk and a cooperative and need no aftercare. Six, seriously ill patients such as those with heart disease can usually tolerate local anesthesia without any risk. Seven, an ophthalmologist and uh, an anesthetist or, uh, or other additional trained personnel not required. Okay? A. Technique is not difficult to master. Nine, percent of failure is small. Ten, no additional expense to the patient. Now we come to the disadvantages of local anesthesia. No two disadvantages of the local anesthesia when the patient is normal and there is no contraindication to its use. So in every instance when satisfactory anesthesia can be achieved and the patient is cooperative, local anesthesia is the method of choice. Yeah. Thank you for your listening and if you have any questions about the lecture. Thank you.